So what's going on everybody? It's been a long time. Sorry that I haven't uploaded any content here lately, but we've really been trying to find out what to do with the channel. We've made a lot of changes. As you can see, there's a lot of different scenery behind me that wasn't behind me before. So made a change to the fleet of vehicles. We made a change to where we're living, uh, livestock, um, motorcycles, ATVs, which we'll get to here in a moment. So I appreciate those that have continued to add support to the channel and additional subscribers. And if it's your first time here, definitely if you like the new content or like the previous content and you want to subscribe just to help out the channel, please do so. Now, as I said before, we've added a lot of things to the fleet, including ATVs. And again, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with the channel because I started, you know, locked and loaded, uh, which was the shooting channel. But as you know, due to the vid and everything like that, you know, prices of everything has skyrocketed especially on the firearms market so there really hasn't been much of that i've got some new content on that but as far as it goes with editing and price of you know firing ammunition it it's ridiculously and it's astronomical so um in regards to the fleet um ended up getting out of the jeep game entirely here so we got the tahoe we got the civic Got a trailer here, which we'll come back to this one in a moment. It's a whole nother story on this one here. And then also got the new Gator made up there, which it is a lot bigger because now we have minimally two quads to pull. And the interesting thing is, this is a 14 foot, six and a half. Probably should have went with the 16 foot because we got to create some brackets on the back to extend. Again, all this rubbish here. Um, we ended up taking a few trees down in the back that were Man, 120 130 feet tall and so still getting settled into the new house um, as the chickens let you know that and trying to get everything together so it's a little bit of a mess if you can look over that really want to take you guys through this and how I may foresee the channel kind of moving I'm still doing vehicle repair on the side I haven't been shooting a lot of that but I've been doing a ton of small engine maintenance and repair I'm really uh, intrigued and excited to take you guys along with this current journey because we have mudded and trail ridden for years and we just never caught a lot of it on camera a lot of it on my iphone but it just it doesn't do it justice so now that we've got the gopro set up i got a new helmet coming so because uh, my other helmet dropped it broke <laughs> a uh, gopro mount and damaged the helmet so i was like ah time for a new helmet let's go ahead and get it so without further ado, here we go. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless. Uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't want to be one of the nameless. I'm going to wake up with the mindset that one day I'm going to make it. And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limit. Don't try to stop me, I exist to remember your story I'll make a decision if I want some peace or if I want the glory yeah. Don't want a life that is complacent or possibly boring I just want a life that is worth every day exploring I My whole life I just wanted someone who would notice me My whole life I just wanted to be somebody to be yeah, I just want to be great Yeah, I just want to be great Yeah, I just want to be great Yeah, 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 yeah. I just want to be Appreciate all that is vacant It's just for the taking If you make up your mind you can take it I'm never complacent I would work in a Alright, as you saw in that quick little montage We have a couple ATVs that are going to get completely renovated Get them back looking right uh, They're running Well, one's running right The other one, nah But 2012 uh, BRP Canem Outlander 800R Max XT 
that uh, I've been riding lately. Uh, obviously, got the sound bar up here. Uh, again, decals aren't the greatest. Those are all coming off. I'm redoing the plastics front to back. I've actually got an extra set of wheels, stock wheels right there with some brand new tires on them so that I can ride them around the yard and not tear anything up and use this kind of as my workhorse. Now, this one does come with the back seat. Where is it? Oh, hiding down there, which also need to get recovered. And yeah, um, all in all, amazing machine that I've uh, been enjoying and riding. And we've got the 14 inch MSAs with the Mega Mayhem tires on there. Also over here, again, my mess in the garage because I am redoing a lot of stuff. Remember that trailer I said something about a minute ago? So here's the four wheeler that came with the trailer. I went to buy them as a bundle deal. And when I got there, the scrambler did not run, couldn't get it started, it had two or three flat tires. It was just in rough shape. It, it's been cleaned up a, a lot. I mean, it was, it was ridden hard and put up wet. And at the time I was just asking the guy, hey, do you just want to part with the trailer? Let's go ahead and you know hook the trailer up. I'll pay just a little bit less, keep the quad, whatever. Apparently guy was moving in four to five days and he really needed both of them gone. He said, throw me an offer, take them both. So that's what we did. We ended up getting a 2000 Scrambler 400. It's the four by four model with the all wheel drive selection. It is a two stroke. Uh, as you can see, there's some play in the neck here, which uh, we're working on but we've done a lot of work to it too uh, since I've had it uh, I need to rebutton up these with the right bolts but we got everything kind of riveted up so it looks like it should rear tires are a little bigger than what come on there but man let me tell you when you get these things digging it man it, it moves so much better than the smaller tires uh, we ended up doing I got the new tie rods and new tie rod ends put on last week ended up doing a new donut gasket in the exhaust last week rebuilt the carburetor but i don't know if anybody knows this but if it's just me figuring this out apparently two stroke carburetors different four stroke i don't know if they really are leave a comment because it doesn't have the standard float that goes up in the center it has round floats that go up on the sides so it's leaking again so i've got all new fuel line coming new fuel filters and a whole new rebuild kit better quality rebuild kit let me say that because these Polaris carburetors are like 200 bucks, not rebuilt. And I don't really want to put a really cheap carburetor on there, be having a good time, and then just either blow the carburetor to smithereens or it break apart and then get in the fuel system and mess up the cylinder. So I'm really trying to save this carburetor at all cost. So that's what we're working with. So hopefully you've made it this far into the video. Again, if you have, if you're excited about the new content, leave a comment. If not, my apologies, I'll try to do what I can to kind of make the uh, previous subscribers happy. Wait, 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 ladies and gents. So you thought I was going to leave you hanging on the brute, didn't you? Right. Again, I appreciate you guys staying tuned this long. So much has happened since the last videos have went up on the channel. So we're going to get to the brute in just a second. I just want to say thank you for all the loyal subscribers and the new subscribers that this content may bring to the channel. It means so much and again um, I just enjoy producing content and realize that as I was on lunch editing the video today um, at work that this part of the clip got completely destroyed by the other memory card so if you'd watch any of my other videos you'll know that a failed memory card is just kind of like what happens um, when you're creating content so now let's get to it so again, sorry for dirty garage, and there's a reason that we're shooting in here is because it's dark outside. I uh, just got home, it's late at night, and they're calling for freezing rain and snow again here in North Carolina, and it's driving me insane. Um, however, good news is, the wife and I are both off of work tomorrow. So, if it will just snow, we can actually get some content, take them out for some rips, and have a good time. If it's freezing rain, uh, we're gonna see how that goes. Without further ado, this is the wife's 2016 Brute Force uh, limited edition. Um, again, it's got some wear, as you guys have seen. It's used, but it's in immaculate shape. Um, the picture that you guys probably saw in the thumbnail, it had stock wheels and tires on it. Uh, we also went with some uh, 14 inch MSAs as well on hers. Let's see if we can actually, the lighting in here is terrible. Um, as you can see, road glide back there, and 
another little thing for another video. But um, all we've really done is changed oil, changed filter, air filter, and then we changed spark plugs. I really didn't need anything else. I mean, the thing is super clean. Uh, it's a little dirty right now, and I cannot seem to get any light under here. But either way, you guys get what I'm working with here. And I don't think that she's going to put an exhaust on this one because it actually sounds really good stock. I mean, uh, you can hear the electronic engine brake, you can hear the exhaust, and it just all sounds good. Now, if we decide to keep the Outlander in the long haul, you have to stay tuned for that because I'm really thinking maybe Big Gun, Evo U, uh, HMF. Uh, drop a comment below what we, you think we should do on the Outlander because probably shortly after the Scrambler is up, my buddy Adam's going to come over. We're going to line the Scrambler up and we're going to line probably the Brute and the Outlander up. Not only get some content of that, but we really want to see which one from a dig is faster and which one from a roll is faster. So you have to stay tuned for that. Again, make sure you subscribe or you'll miss out. So again, back to the outro. Thank you guys again and stay safe. But my goal is to take you guys along with any of the additional repairs that we do and maintenance. And then also take you guys, you know, riding with us, swamp riding, trail riding, uh, riding through the snow. Uh, North Carolina got some snow here recently. so. Uh, we got some very short clips of that, which may be able to throw here in the montage if everything lines back up. But you guys definitely stay tuned. We got a lot of stuff coming and uh, appreciate all the support. Again, like, subscribe, comment, and uh, we'll see you guys out there. All right. Yeah, I just wanna be great. Yeah, I just wanna be great.